Hi, I'm Jason, and I feel a little bit cheated. With me is Marky. And as always, Frankie. Oh, oh, the guy, oh you gotta get him in the camera. Is. Look at him. Oh. Look how handsome he is. Frankie, the comic book dog. The zombie's going to eat him from The Walking Dead. Okay, a um, little short video thing. Uh, it's not really a rant. but it's Spoiler, it's a discussion. Yeah, um... Okay, we all know DC's gone down to two ninety nine for a comic. Rumors are Marvel's going to be also doing it also. The only downside is it's going to go from 24 pages, which is the norm of what we knew, down to 20 pages for the two ninety nine per comic. My one problem with this issue is when they actually announced this, they told us what they were going to do is... The books that were three ninety nine, they were going to be able to cut down to two ninety nine by removing the second stories. But uh, books that were already two ninety nine seem to be also taking page cuts down to twenty pages instead of twenty four, which they never really mentioned to us. And I, I guess I think if they mentioned it to me, I wouldn't have been upset. Yeah, because like those ones that were three ninety nine that had the second story, you would get. 20 pages of the first story. Or 24, it was, that, was it? Uh, no, it was 20 for the first story, 10 for the second oh, story. Okay. But the comics that were 299 without the second story had the 24 pages. But they're getting cut to 20. Yeah, that basically all their comics are going down to 20 pages. Um, which leave, leaves me with quite a mystery on the miniseries since they seem to be able to do whatever the fuck they want with page amounts like uh we were looking up what was it time masters at 399 is 22 pages, pages for the last yeah 20 22 pages and uh, then like what was it what did we look at a widening grier uh well that's from old school uh the one with lobo and the garbage man and uh and that was like 30 pages wasn't it yeah for the same price yeah and it was really weird so the mini series we don't even know if it affects them as of right now i don't think it has no, and I don't think it will, but I think like the regular series ones that are continuous. Like, I I don't mind waiting a month for a story. I actually enjoy it, but if a regular story was a three-parter, is it now going to be a four-parter? Because you cut four pages off of each one, you know, it's like... No, I, I was thinking about that, too. I was thinking that this should include miniseries. On the on their benefit that I think they make their money back up because if you write a four issue miniseries and it was supposed to be three ninety nine they they cut let's say they cut four pages out of all your books well now now you have a a five issue miniseries at two ninety nine all the way through so you almost make up the the money in the extra issue yeah so I was thinking about that and I'm. If they're really just going to cut pages, I, I'm not sure we're making any money difference, really, for us, the people buying. And I think the stories are going to go slower. Cause... I, I, I actually I think that, too. My my question is, what what's Marvel going to do? Because if DC is going to cut pages, this actually leaves Marvel, I feel like, at an advantage to yeah. where they could, they could try to one-up DC cut the price, and, and leave it at 24 pages. No, I read a press release on one of the other websites where it was going to be Marvel doing 299 with the 20 pages. So that's how I realized that DC was doing the 20-page thing. But we just looked up that Icon book. Yeah, Icon 299 for Superior. And it was... 26? 20. Yeah, it was like 28 pages. It was something really wacky and really a, a large amount. And it was a 299 book. And Icon is Marvel. Marvel yeah. So my, right here, now I feel like DC has handed a lot of power to Marvel. Like yeah. Marvel can one up them. Yeah. If they, if Marvel kept the extra four pages or whatnot, it's like, hey, you get more for your buck. Yeah. I, I feel like, I just feel like, I wish you would have just taken the second stories out. If you would have done that. I actually think you could have really taken advantage of the market a little bit because you'd still have your 24-page books. And I think that at the same time, then you can take those second stories and make miniseries out of them. 
Yeah. Or like the comics that didn't have the mini thing because like uh, uh, Secret Six, they never had another. Well, pro- there's no reason that it should be affected. It was already price pointed right. at two ninety nine, I believe, right? Yeah. So it should have stayed at twenty four pages instead of going down to twenty pages. And, and I guess that's a little bit of a rant on our part. I mean, we're not pissed about it, but we're kind of confused because it just doesn't make sense. The book was already at two ninety nine. Why is it? Going less pages. Yeah. Why don't they bring it down to two fifty for the ones that were originally two ninety nine, where you got the twenty four pages? Bring it down to two fifty. Yeah, I, I feel like if I'm going to lose pages, I have to lose price, and some of these books are already down. Um, I don't know what the mini series of Batman Beyond was running, but I know the Batman Beyond series is twenty pages. It's two ninety nine. But I think the miniseries was 24 pages, and it was also 2.99. So, since they lead right into each other, it's a continuous series. I lost four pages, yeah. and I didn't lose any price. A lot of the books I was getting were already 2.99, anyways. So, really, I feel like you just took away some story from me. You didn't cut me a deal. Yeah. So, in the long run, if you do it mathematically, they're making money by doing this and more people are going to be like oh wow all there are 2.99 let's buy them without realizing oh we're getting fucked four pages and is this going to be the killer of like remember the big spread pages where it was two pages in one yeah is it going to be killing those so they could squeeze in more storyline to it i don't know i also feel like my books are the same size i feel like they really filled them up with ads <laughs> yeah I feel like the entire yeah. second story just became ads. Mm-hmm. And but, it, but, I didn't really read very many of the second stories. But can you put the ads in the back of my book? Because I don't, I don't look – I flip through them anyways. I don't pay attention. And they're in the way of my story, and it's disruptive to my reading. Yeah, the ads are deceptive. Like we, one mm-hmm. last one was DC Universe Online, and now it's Flashpoint. We see it in one comic. We don't need to see it in all 30 comics that we buy from DC. You know, like maybe have like Flashpoint in Flash. Yeah. Or DC Online on like the Superman one or, you know, something that would go. I'll, I'll cut him some slack on the DC Universe because it's called DC Universe. Yeah. But yeah that, so I'll cut him I slack on that, one. on that one. But I, I, I still don't know if we're ranting. I mean, it's just – it's one of these things where we kind of are just hoping somebody's going to comment and give you, give us their opinion on what's going on. Or if somebody actually knows something, tell us what's happening. And I think this will kind of hurt independent comics because – like I don't know I, if they can price cut. Yeah, because like when I'm shopping on the computer because I go through a comic book company that I have to order through them. I'm going through it and I see oh three ninety nine for this independent comic, oh but two ninety nine for the DC one. That's part of business though. Yeah, but it kind of, it's going to be hurting the independent ones. I think that's gonna that's gonna affect us the readers in a bad way. But that that's called free market, and I'm not gonna fault DC or Marvel for causing that problem. No, I'm not. Well, kind of because what I, would you I re- rather pay two ninety nine or three ninety nine? It's still my choice which book I want to buy. But not many people have that choice. If it, you have a low budget, if you don't have right, much to right. spend. And, and I agree with you, but... I mean, comic books are a pretty Americanized thing, and free market is kind of the backbone of our country. You can't tell them not to price cut somebody. Yeah, and I, if the independent companies do start price cutting, it's going to hurt them like morning glory's got price cut through image but image is pretty steady but when you go to like big dog ink yeah i don't think they could afford to do a price cut yeah uh, i think image dark horse yeah. um uh, idw i think these companies will be able to price cut whether or not they'll be able to go to, all the way down to 299 you might see books fall from 399 to 350 50. yep that's a possibility uh, you might see a lot of 350 price ranges, I think, on independence where they're trying to price cut, but they can't afford to do the extra 50 cents. It, it's just a weird thing, and we just want some opinions. Somebody talk to us, man. Yeah.
So that's our short little, well, it turned out to be 10 minutes, but that's our short thing. Uh, talk to you later. Have a good one.